Uh, John, I haven't been through one. Um, anything close to that? Of course, I've never been in game five of the playoffs before either. But, you know, you guys, and you've been around all the time, John, but everybody asks me every, it seems like when there's a big game and Jake's out there and, you know, what kind of, you know, what kind of makeup do you think he is? Is he the guy for the job? You know, why'd you pick him? If he didn't show you tonight, he had command of nothing. And all he did was battle and battle and battle to give you six innings. It, it, it was, it's unbelievable. I mean, I don't, there were four times in the game he was one hitter away from coming out of the game and ended up giving you six innings. So I'm real proud of him. And to the back right, yeah, left. I guess, Terry, could you comment on your entire pitching staff? Some of us haven't seen it as much as obviously you have, but uh, after two runs in the first, it was just uh, you shut everything down. Well, we've, you know, we got here because we have very, very good pitching. You know, in the middle of the summer when we weren't scoring any runs, we were still in games. We would still win close games because our pitching kept us in it. Our starters, our bullpens, um, they're young. Yeah, they're inexperienced, but they got quality stuff, and that, that, still, that still pays off. And uh, that's why we said all along, no matter what the outcome of this season is, the, the, it's the light at the end of the tunnel is here, and this is, this is going to be a bright future for this organization. And right here to the right. Terry, just the uh, uh, Syndergaard and Familia, I mean, him getting a six out save and, and Noah, you know. Yeah, for do we, you know, Dan and I talked before the game today about Syndergaard, and, and there was a point in the game where one of the things Dan said to me, look, the middle of their lineup, we need a power. We need to have somebody with power to, to get through that part. And I said, do you think that kid can handle it? And he said, by all means. So he talked me into it, and we brought him in the seventh inning, and he was about as good as you can possibly ask for in that, in that spot. Yeah, I mean, you know, and that's what happens. This guy is throwing 100 miles an hour, and all of a sudden he throws you, you know, he's throwing 500-mile-an-hour fastballs and then throws the slider. It's pretty hard, you, pretty hard to keep from swinging. Over here to the left. Terry Murphy taking third on the walk. Is that something that is relayed to him ahead of time? Hey, keep an eye on no, this. No, that was all Dan Murphy. That was, that was all Dan Murphy. He, he said when he was, you know, on the, on the base on balls, he was jogging, and he looked up, and he knew – he saw all the infielders in the middle of the infield. So he said he didn't want to try to speed up. He just kept jogging. As soon as he hit second, he took off for third and, and, and obviously made it. And that tells you what the player Dan Murphy is. He's an alert. He's always trying to find an edge. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work, but to that, tonight it worked. And to the right, standing up. Speaking of Murphy, can you just talk about the game he had tonight in the series on, on the whole? Well, he's, you know, been around Dan Murphy for six years. He's a... He's a baseball player. He's a baseball junkie. He loves to hit. He loves to play the game. Plays with every night all out. And when he's swinging the bat, he is dangerous. He, when, he's, when he's hot, he is really dangerous. And uh, the home runs, you know, I, I thought, I think Kevin, Kevin Long gets a lot of credit. They've kind of transformed Dan's swing a little bit, got him to pull the ball a little bit more. And he's hitting the ball over the fence. And, and he, that's the kind of power. But, you know, Kevin saw it, and, and together they worked hard at it. And now Dan's doing what he's, what he's been doing. OK, we're in here to the right. Terry, you said all along about you know, the whole team effort and everything. But when you have two guys like you know, Duda and David, who really didn't put up the numbers, and yet you still come out, you know, what does that say? Well, it says a lot. I mean, tonight, you knew you weren't gonna, we weren't going to score a lot of runs. I mean, that was, you know, Murph's play saved us going to third base. That just saved us. But you knew it was going to be a close game. And you know, a lot's been said about, geez, you're not hitting, you're not hitting. Look who we're facing. You know, we came into a five-game series, and you saw Kershaw twice and Granke twice. That's that may not be fair. So, uh, you know, we'll take we'll take what we got. We got the wins and that we needed, and uh, we're going to go party for a little while and take a day off and get ready for the NLCS, and it'll be a lot of fun. Right, and right here to the right, John. Terry, uh, any thoughts? I mean, what went into the thinking on uh, familiar for six? Right? What, did you th think at all about leaving Cincinnati in for the John? Year? We did not. We we the answer to that is yes, we did as well as he threw, but before the game tonight, we, you know, I may say we, Dan, myself, Ricky, uh, Sandy, you know, I just said, I told them, here's my thoughts. If we get the win, if we get the lead in the eighth inning, we got to roll the dice. We got, in my opinion, if he's not the best closer in the National League, he's one of the best closers in all of baseball, you got to go to him. You can't, you know, you, you'd be kicking yourself if, You'll, if they score a run off somebody else, when that guy should should be in the game in, in a game like tonight, that means everything. So uh, we stayed with the plan and it worked. And right up the center, uh, Terry. They get those 
first couple runs in the in the first inning, but then after that they go 0 for 11 with runners in scoring position. Just what did Jake do differently, or what changed? Uh, he made pitches. He made better pitches. You know, he used his he used his change up a lot better. Made better, located it better, located his fastball better. Uh, I thought in the middle of the game he started to pitch inside a little bit better, which you know speed the bats up, so the off speed stuff's a little more effective. Um, you know, like I said, I almost took him out four times. And in the sixth inning, going into leading into the sixth, he's at 100 pitches. And, and Dan said, I think he's throwing the ball right now better than he has the entire night. And he went out and had an easy six, fortunately for us. But uh, we just thought we had to try to score some more runs. And that's why we hit for him. Or you would have started the, probably the seventh inning.